Matthias was, according to the Acts of the Apostles, the apostle chosen by the believers to replace Judas Iscariot following Judas' betrayal of Jesus and his subsequent suicide. His calling as an apostle is unique in that his appointment was not made personally by Jesus, who had already ascended into heaven, and it was also made before the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the early church. Biography There is no mention of a Matthias among the lists of disciples or followers of Jesus in the three synoptic gospels, but according to Acts, he had been with Jesus from his baptism by John until his ascension. In the days following, Peter proposed that the assembled disciples, who numbered about 120, nominate two men to replace Judas. They chose Joseph called Barzabas and Matthias. Then they prayed, Thou, Lord, which knowest the hearts of all men, show whether of these two thou hast chosen, that he may take part of this ministry and apostleship, from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. Acts chapter 1 verses 24 to 25 Then they cast lots, and the lot fell to Matthias, so he was numbered with the eleven apostles. Matthias was present with the other apostles at Pentecost. No further information about Matthias is to be found in the canonical New Testament. Even his name is variable. The Syriac version of Eusebius calls him throughout not Matthias but Ptolemy, not to be confused with Bartholomew, who was one of the twelve original apostles. Clement of Alexandria says some identified him with Zacchaeus. The Clementine recognitions identify him with Barnabas. Hilgenfeld thinks he is the same as Nathaniel in the Gospel of John. Ministry the tradition of the Greeks says that street. Matthias planted the faith about Cappadocia and on the coasts of the Caspian Sea, residing chiefly near the port issues. According to Nicephorus, Matthias first preached the gospel in Judea, then in Ethiopia and was there stoned to death. An extant Coptic Acts of Andrew and Matthias places his activity similarly in the city of the cannibals in Ethiopia, a marker placed in the ruins of the Roman fortress at Gonio in the modern Georgian region of Agira claims that Matthias is buried at that site. The synopsis of Dorotheus contains this tradition. Matthias preached the gospel to barbarians and meat-eaters in the interior of Ethiopia, where the sea harbor of Hissus is. At the mouth of the river for size, he died at Sebastopolis, and was buried there, near the Temple of the Sun. Alternatively, another tradition maintains that Matthias was stoned at Jerusalem by the Jews, and then beheaded. According to Hippolytus of Rome, Matthias died of old age in Jerusalem. Clement of Alexandria observed, not that they became apostles through being chosen for some distinguished peculiarity of nature, since also Judas was chosen along with them, but they were capable of becoming apostles on being chosen by him who foresees even ultimate issues. Matthias, accordingly, who was not chosen along with them, on showing himself worthy of becoming an apostle, is substituted for Judas. Writings Surviving fragments of the lost gospel of Matthias attribute it to Matthias, but early church fathers attributed it to heretical writings in the 2nd century. Veneration The feast of St. Matthias was included in the Roman calendar in the 11th century and celebrated on the sixth day to the calends of March. In the revision of the general Roman calendar in 1969, his feast was transferred to May 14th so as not to celebrate it in Lent but instead in Eastertide close to the Solemnity of the Ascension. The event after which the Acts of the Apostles recounts that Matthias was selected to be ranked with the Twelve Apostles. The Eastern Orthodox Church celebrates his feast on August 9. The Church of England's Book of Common Prayer Liturgy, as well as others in the Anglican Communion, celebrates Matthias on February 24. According to the newer Common Worship Liturgy, he is celebrated on May 14 with a festival, although he may be celebrated on February 24, if desired, in the Episcopal Church as well as some in the Lutheran Church, including the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod and the Lutheran Church Canada. His feast remains on February 24. 
in Evangelical Lutheran worship, used by the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America as well as the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Canada. The feast date for Matthias is on May 14. It is claimed that St. Matthias the Apostles' remains are interred in the Abbey of St. Matthias, Freer, Germany, brought there through Empress Helena of Constantinople, mother of Emperor Constantine I. According to Greek sources, the remains of the Apostle are buried in the castle of Gonio Upsaros, Georgia.